Now you can see I've run this play 535 times and I average 11 and a half yards a carry. Run 134 times is one of my favorite, most explosive run plays in the game, and I average almost 14 yards a carry. That's how explosive this play is. You see, I've run this play 1,229 times. <laughs> Need fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Hey, what's going on? Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another top five video for you guys. I haven't done a top five video in a while. I'm going on vacation in Florida this week, so I thought this would be the perfect time to put together uh, basically my top five run plays in Madden 21 right now. These are the top five most explosive run plays that you can run, that you can find in Madden 21 right now. If you guys want to see more videos like this, I also plan to do a top five pass plays. I could also do top five defensive, top five blitzes whatever let me know in the comment section what you guys would like to see so the first play that I'm going to show is out of the pistol playbook now this particular play can only be found in the alternate uh, series it can't be found in custom but there is a play out of the Ravens full house that's the exact same play they have a counter lead in the Ravens playbook so you should be able to find that in custom playbook but I'm in the pistol full house like I said this is a little bit different the play that I'm going to be running is the counter lead now you can see uh, you know I've run 134 times it's one of my favorite most explosive run plays in the game and I average almost 14 yards of carry that's how explosive this play is if you guys want to see a full pistol breakdown on Saturday let me know in the comment section hit the like button I will put that out on Saturday I plan on putting out the full breakdown it's an hour and a half long it's a mammoth uh, breakdown of this entire play book if you want to see that hit the like button let me know in the comment section and be ready for that now before i get into this video as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at mmoxp.com if you guys want to get your mud team up like mine i'm currently rocking a 98 which is the highest i've ever had by the way check them out link in the description below use discount code money shot to get five percent off now as far as this play goes this is not a play you want to run against just about any defense i put out an entire scheme uh, of different reads that you can make in different type of run plays that you can you can basically run from this formation this one here is just the most exciting explosive so you know any scenario where your defense is spread like this especially the defensive ends are out wide like this this is a perfect opportunity to take a try with a play like this you can see right there it didn't work out on the first play this can be somewhat of a slow developing uh handoff but you can see by the results that you know it's really boom or bust i mean when you do hit you're hitting for you know 30 40 50 yard touchdown runs so like i said i mean you saw with your own eyes i average almost 14 yards of carry with this there's plenty of times where i hand it off and i don't get as much as i really want i don't get 14 yards of carry it's the explosive plays that makes this average out well so i'm just going to run against everything here which i typically would not do um but ultimately like i said this is something that's best used in the scheme of the original video that i put out i'll try to put links in the description for all the uh the schemes the individual schemes for these offenses uh so you guys can check out the full offenses but like i said this here when you when it does hit it's a really explosive hit and that's why this is to me one of the top five run plays in the game next up out of the pistol week i we have the halfback zone week now this is another play average almost nine yards of carry this play here it's a great inside run but it's also a great outside run uh this play can be found in a lot of different playbooks i'm using the pistol still but it's also in uh the niners which is very popular i think it's in the uh, washington football team playbook probably still in the Panthers playbook which is what I originally found it in several years ago but without a doubt this is one of the better run plays in the game so let's go and let's pick the halfback zone week out of the pistol week I so this is a play where you can run this against just about anything it really has two different options you can treat this as an inside run which right off the bat this doesn't really favor an inside run this this look kind of favors the outside variation uh, where essentially you could just basically take this outside and treat it like a stretch play uh, which you can see pre-snap there really was nothing there but the second the ball is hiked, there's really two different guys to follow. If it's going to be an inside run, you typically want to follow this guard. You want to watch what this guard does. If it's going to be an outside run, you typically want to follow the fullback, which is exactly what I do. He basically seals that edge, and I just get in right behind him and take it wide. So it's really that simple. But you have to basically make your pre-snap pre, pre -snap who you're going to follow. Inside run, like I said, you'll see a lot of times when the defense is spread, this guard will, will basically chip off. He'll double team a lot of times, and then he'll chip off and get to the next level but there's two ways to read this 
The next play is out of the single back ace. I typically use this play out of the 49ers playbook. This is another video that I put out a full breakdown for. Link in the description below if you want to see an offense out of this. Uh, but the play itself is going to be the 0-1 trap. You can see I called this play 68 times. Felt like I run a more to be honest with you, but I average almost 9 yards a carry on this play. It's also a very explosive play to be used in this formation. Now, as far as the look you're looking for on the defensive side, it's all about spacing once again. When it comes to uh, uh, pulling blockers you're typically going to want a widespread defensive formation otherwise if they're packed tightly you typically might want to use like a stretch play or something like that this is perfect right here you can see there's a huge hole right up the middle plus that plus the fact that there really was no second level of defenders there. there's only one linebacker you can see we get that look here again we have that exact same success and you can see anytime you have a center or a guard getting on a linebacker it's just going to blow them right out of the way here we'll go to the replay to watch that one more time but like i said when there's no second level to defenders this is going to be perfect and now, like I said, this guy here, this, this guard just comes off and acts like a fullback and just completely washes Bobby Wagner right out of the play. I mean, anytime you can have that type of success with moving blockers, essentially these guys take themselves out of the play. That's pretty much the idea. Now on this next play here, you want to try to aim for the side with uh, the larger hole. All you got to do is flip the play with the right stick, and you can see you can go right in that direction. So even if the hole isn't right over the center like it wasn't on this particular play, the larger hole was to the left. All you have to do is flip the play with the right stick, as you can see. Um, it'll essentially, uh, you know, just basically change the direction in which these guards are going to pull. So on this next play here, I'm going to aim for that bigger hole. You can see how essentially both of these guards come off and get to the linebacker level and essentially just acts like I have two fullbacks two really good blocking fullbacks as you can see like i said this play here i didn't use this scheme enough because i'm more of a pass heavy player but this is definitely one of the better uh, run plays in the game any 0-1 trap out of a, a multiple tight end system like this will be very successful and even a look like this where you have a, a tight packed box i mean just as long as there's no second layer of defenders as you can see right here the linebacker once again gets washed away i mean you can have success with this all game long because it could be a very explosive run play now, the next run play, I might be a little bit biased. If you guys watch my gameplays, you know I love the gun split close. I use it more out of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Right here, I'm using the 49ers, but this particular run formation has a really good run play at the fullback inside. One of the most important things would be to make sure your best running back is at this particular position because that's where most of the plays are going to be. Uh, and the run play is going to be, like I said, the fullback inside. You can see I've run this play 1,229 times, and I average almost 7 yards a carry. So it's probably the least explosive on this particular series of plays out of the top five but like i said it's one of my favorite run plays i absolutely love this offense so i had to put it in here uh other than that if you really want to kick it up a notch you can put a fullback at this other running back spot you typically don't want to do that for the pass plays but for the run plays it can really help so i'll put my fullback in here at uh, at this particular spot it should open up more holes and that's going to make this a much more explosive run play now, as far as this play goes, just like a lot of these run plays, you really have two options. I noticed recently, I've started motioning across uh, these one of these receivers a lot to try to give myself a little bit of a blocking advantage. It doesn't really work in man coverage because then you'll pull the extra defender across. But in zone coverage, a lot of times, it will give you a little bit of a blocking advantage. Um, although, even here, you can see the nickel uh, cornerback is following. So, it really depends on, you know, it's, it's a good practice habit i like to do that a lot i like to motion across one of these guys give myself a blocking advantage i also like to motion snap him right about here so he's right where you know he would be to get in the way of maybe any user defender trying to shoot the gap i find that really helps but this play here really if you're going to see a loaded box like i'm looking at here it's going to be best to try to take this outside once again no second level of defenders that's why i don't really think that's too great of a defense although i do see that online quite a bit um, that's going to be something where you're definitely going to want to go around the pile because there's going to be too many defenders loading that box if you have big spacing gaps like this particular defense here, obviously you want to treat this more like an inside run. This essentially runs like an inside zone just with a fullback blocking for you, which essentially, in my opinion, would be perfect. If you could have that more with inside zones, you'd have way more opportunities uh, to defend yourself against guys trying to shoot the gap, uh, which is something a lot of people are doing online. Now, the next play can only be found in the pistol playbook, and I think maybe the run and gun playbook. It can't be found in customs, but this one here is one of my favorites. It's out of the pistol weak slot flex, and the play is called the power option. Now, you can see I've run this play 535 times, and I average 11 and a half yards a carry. This is a monster play. So let's go and let's pick that. Uh, the only thing is you probably want a uh, mobile quarterback and you want your fastest running back at the running back spot, but other than that, there's no real adjustments or anything that you really need to change. So, power option on the defense. 
defensive side, we're just going to go random 4-3. He said, I love this play. I find it's best to flip this play and run it to the open side. I find it's best to do that just about every single time, especially if the cornerback's playing back like that. If you got a cover two or a cornerback's in the box, it might be best to run it behind the receivers. But ultimately, for whatever reason, I always find more success by flipping it with the right stick to the right and running it in this direction. Now, you can also, uh, the play's really all about the pitch. You can see right there, that guy came in pretty quick, but the pitch bails me. That's really the, the beauty of this play is the pitch is always there. I mean, especially when you have, I would say, cover threes and man coverage is like what we're looking at right now where there's really no cornerback out here. Those are going to be the best defenses to run this against uh, just as long as this first guy doesn't shoot in. Now, what I'm doing with the quarterback is really important when it comes to the success of this play as well. I'll go to the replay because it's a little bit easier to talk uh, while I'm going through the replay than actually running the plays. Um, you want to hold this ball with the quarterback as long as possible. You can see I'm seeing this guy's getting cut loose just about every time and he's right in my face. Ideally, this, this fullback would pick him up, but if he doesn't, I'm pretty much guaranteeing that I can make this guy, I can take this guy out. I can turn into my own blocker by aiming at this guy with the quarterback making sure that he tackles the quarterback before I get the pitch out because that essentially takes away that uh, that possible defender. So at whatever point in time there's a free defender coming your way, run into him with the quarterback and pitch the ball out. It's really that simple. It just guarantees that that defender can't tackle the running back once he catches the ball. If no defender becomes apparent, a lot of times the quarterback will turn to a blocker after you make the pitch. So it's really a simple read. If, if you're trying to make this play as explosive as possible, if a defender's coming in, run at him with the quarterback before you pitch the ball out. You will get these pitch animations even through contact. You can see I'm getting contact and I'm basically tackled before the ball comes out. So don't be afraid to do that. So I'll go and I'll do this again. Like I said, I'm really just, you know, there I probably pitched that a little bit early. You can see the, the guy, the quarterback becomes a blocker on the very next play. We'll go ahead and we'll go to the replay one more time because like I said, I, I, I felt like I kind of messed that up because um, I, I he didn't tackle the quarterback, but it, it worked in my favor. So you can see right here, like I said, I, I go towards this guy, but he's got that choppy, uh, you know, footstep action where he's not really aggressive. So he doesn't tackle the quarterback. And then you can see right away, this quarterback becomes the lead blocker, which is, you know, if I would have read this better, I probably would have took it inside of the quarterback if the guy wasn't chasing me, and I probably could have an even more explosive play. That's why, like I said, this play averaged 11 and a half yards of carry. I run it more than any run play in the game. It's definitely my absolute favorite. Uh, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and end the video on that one. So if you guys want to see more run plays, uh, more top five videos, more top five run play videos, or more top five passing, defenses, whatever, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section which one you want to see next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Mush it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team. We can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.